Who does the narcissist target? What kind of person do they target? What qualities or traits are they looking for in a source of supply? Narcissists are predators. They prey on you. They hunt you down so that they can use you for whatever you have to offer. They exploit you. They make full use of and derive benefit from you in a way that might be considered unfair or underhand. For them to be able to do this, they must ensure that you are susceptible to their manipulation. They must ensure that they are able to control you to their advantage. They use unfair and dishonest methods to acquire new targets. They acquire their target in a secretive way, concealing their true intentions or motives. When the narcissist is acquiring a new target, they are looking for someone who cares. Someone who gives attention and consideration to them. Someone who feels concern or interest for them. Someone who attaches a level of importance to them. They are looking for someone to fulfill their needs. So these qualities are very important to them. They need someone who has empathy. Someone who is able to understand and share their feelings. They also need to know that you trust them. They need to know that you have a firm belief in their reliability, truth or ability. They need to know that you believe in what they are displaying to you. They will often give you tests to see if you are a suitable target, to see if you are a person who cares or a person that is going to trust them. They might tell you about a situation that they are currently in or something that has happened in the past. They might display false emotions as though they are hurt or upset. They will exaggerate it and make it seem worse than what it really is. They are putting on an act just to see how you react to them. As you are reacting to them, they are identifying whether or not you are a suitable target, depending on how you are reacting to them. If you don't seem as though you care or trust them, you're not going to be a suitable target. But if you do react with pity or concern for their act of suffering or misfortune, if you do try to cooperate or solve a problem with them, they will then identify that you are a suitable target for them. They will identify that you are someone that they could have further control over. Once you display the need to act on what they are displaying to you, once you show any pity or concern for them, they see it as a weakness. They see it as something that they can use or take advantage of. It makes them see you as a target, someone that they can exploit, someone that they can use to fulfill their needs. They use these fake situations to lure you in, to make you feel pity or concern for them and then comply with their requests. But once they've got you, once they've secured you as a source, a source of supply, that vulnerable, defenseless person soon disappears and what you then see is an attacker. Someone who is trying to hurt you someone who is trying to manipulate you. And that's when you begin to realize 
that something is not right. Because if they were really this vulnerable, defenseless person, why would they be attacking you? Why would they be trying to hurt you? And the reason for that is because it was all an act. They weren't really vulnerable or defenseless. That was just designed to lure you in. It was designed for them to take advantage of you. To use you to fulfill their needs. What they say to you is very different to what they do. And this is how you know that they are very dishonest people. They are prone to behave in an untrustworthy, deceitful or insincere way. They will cry and express their dissatisfaction or annoyance about something. But when they have the ability to correct the situation, they never do anything about it. Because it's not a concern to them. It's not a matter of interest or importance. They're doing all of these other things rather than dealing with the things that are supposed to be important to them. Most of their time and resources are spent on using and exploiting you. And that's when you know that they're full of shit. That's when you know that they're just using a situation to lure you in. They're just using a situation to distract you, to divert your attention from everything else that they're doing outside of what they say is so important to them. They're using their situation as an excuse for their behavior. When they have the ability to act on what they say is a matter of interest or importance to them, you never see them act on it consistently. You never see them with any desire or enthusiasm to correct the situation. They will make up excuses as though they don't have the tools or information to correct it. But then they're never actually doing anything about it. They're never taking the steps required to resolve anything. They never try to resolve anything. They will only use these situations to justify their behavior so that you won't question or confront them or try to investigate the reason why they are acting in this way. They are distracting you. They are diverting your attention from the real reason so that whenever you question or confront them, they can always revert back to the situation to justify their behavior. It's just to stop you from looking at them for the phonies that they are. Because if their behavior had anything to do with a situation, they would be attending to their matters of interest or importance and the factors that are causing their feelings or, or behavior. They will be focused on dealing with that, but they're not. And that is how you know that they are full of shit. Forget about what they are saying to you. Look at their actions. Look at what they are doing. Their actions never match their words. And when they get the opportunity to make their actions match their words, they never take the correct action to resolve the situation. They're phonies. They're lying to you. And they know that they're lying to you. But they will, keep the, they will keep up the facade so that they can extract as much out of you as they can. They use future faking. They make you believe that something is going to come in the future. If you just wait. If you just hold on a little longer. But as long as you stay trapped into the illusions that they are portraying to you. As long as you believe in their lies and excuses. The more that they are going to extract out of you the more of your time and energy that they are going to waste until you are completely trapped in a false reality 
with false situations and stories that have no underlying support or, fund or foundation in reality. The narcissist targets people who will believe in their false reality. People who will validate their false self. If you believe in what they are displaying to you, they will identify it as though you are susceptible to their manipulation. So they will continue lying to you. They will continue manipulating you. They like to find people who are naive. People who have, who have a lack of experience, wisdom or judgment. People who are too willing to believe that what they are saying is the truth. It gives them the greatest chance of sustaining supply over a long period of time. The people that they use become their source of life, their source of stability and security. That's what keeps them going. If they didn't have people to use, they wouldn't be able to survive. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at nagsforthecoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.